There was a time when meat literally reigned in Kentucky. In 1876, Olympia Springs residents were going about their daily routines when suddenly meat started falling from the clear blue sky. The meat covered an area measuring 100 yards by 50 yards. Residents gathered to witness the occurrence. Some daring ones ventured to taste the meat to guess its origin. With time, most locals lost interest. Yet, there was a dedicated scientist who proposed an intriguing explanation. The meat hailed from vultures. It turns out it might have been a bunch of vultures' vomit. Ew. When distressed, vultures tend to extract the food out of their tummies. This makes them lighter for a swift escape. The condition of the meat combined with this theory might explain the mysterious event. And this isn't the only weird thing that has fallen from above. Animal rain is a thing, and it can rain fish and frogs. In 1994, a jelly-like substance fell to the ground in Oakville. Star jelly was a mysterious slime. It caused almost all residents to get sick with flu-like symptoms. Experts analyzed the substance and found out that it contained human white blood cells and two types of bacteria. One of them can be found in the human digestive system. The origin of the substance and its connection to the flu-like symptoms remain unknown. Contrary to folklore, attributing its origin to the sky, star jelly can have diverse sources. It might originate from the oviducts of frogs or form through the clustering of gelatinous aquatic animals. Certain types of fungi, particularly when in a state of decay, can take on a jelly-like consistency, and even slime molds can exhibit similar characteristics. Now, imagine being scared of spiders, and then seeing this. In eastern Brazil, there was an incidence of spiders falling from the sky. In fact, spider rain isn't as unusual as you might think. This has happened in places like Florida, Argentina, and other parts of the world. It turns out there are spiders that live and hunt together. They make a big web between bushes and trees to catch more bugs. But a strong wind can rip the web and carry the spiders into the air, making it look as if spiders are raining down. The next one on the list of odd stuff falling from the sky is golf balls. On a day in September 1969, golfers in Florida experienced this phenomenon. Suddenly, loads of golf balls started dropping from the sky right onto the golf course. Weather experts said that a tornado had passed by the coast and scooped up some water from a pond near the golf course. The tornado had also grabbed a bunch of balls along the way. When it calmed down, all these balls fell down. Another interesting case occurred in the Pacific Northwest. Milky rain was brought by a dust storm over a saline-rich Oregon lake. At first, scientists thought it was caused by wind erosion in burned areas but that didn't match the wind direction. Another clue was the water composition. It was similar to that of a dry lake. Then, they figured it could have come from Summer Lake in Oregon. It's a shallow lake that dries up during droughts. A storm with strong winds had hit the lake the night before the Milky Rain, possibly lifting dust into the air. The Milky Rain left a white residue on cars and windows in 15 cities blood rain or red rain might sound like a horror movie plot, but it's real. This rain, which looks like blood, has been mystifying people since the times of Homer's Iliad. Back then, people thought it was real blood falling from the sky and it was seen as a bad omen. But scientists have stepped in to clear things up. This rain is usually caused by some pretty harmless stuff, like red dust or tiny microorganisms floating around in the water. Sometimes, it's the work of green microalgae. Watermelon snow might sound tempting, but it's not a snack. Even in small amounts, it could lead to unpleasant health issues. The alga nivalis actually colors this snow pink. Unlike typical algae that prefers ponds, this one thrives in snow. It's mostly found in high-altitude areas during the summer. This algae turns the snow reddish-pink, and these patches are often mistaken for blood stains. The red color actually helps protect the algae from harsh UV rays. Around 2 million years ago, a highly saline water reservoir appeared beneath Taylor Glacier, secluded from light, oxygen, and warmth. 
As this salt-laden water delicately traverses a crevice in the glacier, it reacts with airborne oxygen. This creates a breathtaking rust-colored cascade. A phenomenon called blood falls formed in these conditions. It's both a visual spectacle and a scientific marvel. You can only go to the glacier by helicopter or by cruise ship since it's in an exclusive location. The name Blood Falls describes the scene, the sight of slowly streaming scarlet red liquid staining the pristine white surface of Taylor Glacier and Lake Bonney below. Despite appearances, the substance is not actual blood or water tinted by red algae, as speculated by early Antarctic pioneers. The striking ochre hue emanates from an incredibly salty subglacial lake that has been secluded beneath the glacier for millennia. Speaking of lakes and reservoirs, there's a special place called Lake Hillier in Western Australia. That's part of a group of lakes with a shocking bubblegum pink color. This lake sits on the edge of Middle Island. It's surrounded by a thin ring of sand and a beautiful forest of paper bark and eucalyptus trees. The lake's unique pink hue is a bit of a mystery. Scientists aren't sure about the source of this color. Some think it could be green algae, holding a red-orange pigment, or a type of microorganism. Another possibility is a high concentration of pink brine prawn. Tourists often enjoy the stunning view of Lake Hillier from a helicopter or plane. But if you visit, there's a cool bonus. The lake is really salty, but not harmful so you can actually go for a swim. Because of the high salt content, you'll float easily like a cork in the water. Let's brighten the mood even more. A sun dog, with its cool name, is a fascinating and rare sight. To witness one, you need luck and the right conditions. Specifically, the sun needs to be at a 22 degree angle. The sky should have a cirrus or a cirrostratus clouds. They contain ice crystals. When everything aligns perfectly, the clouds, the sun, and your viewpoint, you'll get treated to a sun dog. It's also known as a mock sun. This phenomenon creates a stunning effect, where the sun seems to be encircled by a giant halo of light. You'll see two additional suns at the edges of this halo. These extra suns sometimes look smaller than the real sun and might have spikes or coronas radiating from them. Now, we have a newly found phenomenon, atmospheric lakes and rivers. These are as intriguing as their names suggest. Atmospheric rivers have been known for a bit longer and are quite extraordinary. Such rivers can stretch up to 1,000 miles in length and 400 miles in width. They're essentially streams of water vapor in the sky. When they descend, they can release an enormous amount of water sometimes equating to the flow of 25 Mississippi rivers. There are also atmospheric lakes for those who find atmospheric rivers a bit overwhelming. Those are large bodies of water vapor, similar to lakes floating in the clouds. Yet, they're not moving as swiftly as their river counterparts. An atmospheric lake found over the Indian Ocean was estimated to hold enough water to form a shallow puddle stretching 620 miles wide. These lakes typically develop in almost windless areas, often near the equator and coastal regions. They can persist for almost a week, drifting leisurely and often bringing rain to dry and barren regions. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.